Hello, my name's Johnny and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I thought I'd just show you this um, quick little tip of how to make some beds legs. Well, I've already made them as you can see, but how to cover them. Um, see, I've made these legs out of wire and the feet. And i tell you what this... Uh, well, for me it is. It's a bit complex, and as you can see, it's very, very messy. So, if you were a bit neater, I mean, it is nice like gold wire. If you were a bit neater, that would look fine, just with a, uh, without it being covered. But, um, very messy. So, what I do with mine, I cover them with florist tape. Um... Let's see. I'm going to try and do it, uh, but it's a bit awkward because I've got to look through the camera. But these are the tools I use to um, bend the wire, uh, to shape it uh, for the toes, the feet. Um, I normally double this wire for a bit of strength for the leg if I was making like an art doll, um, just say the beak was made out of polymer clay and it had really heavy wings and stuff. But because I plan to um, just put feathers and things on it and I'm not putting any polymer clay on. I may put polymer clay eyes, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. So I don't need to double this for the strength. And I think it looks um, quite quirky and funny with like a little skinny leg like that. So, um, yeah, as I say, these are the tools I use to bend the wire. Um, and if I was you, if you're going to attempt this, wear some gloves like gardener's gloves or something because I'm very clumsy and I always cut my fingers on the wire or even jam it in these. Crazy. Um, so this is the florist wire. There. And this is um, black. I've got green, white, grey. You can get it in a lot of colours. Uh, but I just thought with this type, it's like a crow type body, I'll use black. So when you touch the, it's like a waxy feel. When you touch it, it's sticky, but no, not sticky like you could stick um, an envelope or something. It would just come off. It's not that sticky. So what you've got to do is when you're wrapping it round wire, You've got to pull it taut, but not taut like where I've just done and snapped it. It's got to be tight, and I think it's the, it reacts with the heat of your fingers, the glue. And if you pull it taut and wrap it, it'll stick. I'll just cut a piece off and I'll show you. But as I say, I'm not familiar with looking through me phone camera while I'm doing this. I mean, it's awkward enough on its own. So I'll just show you this. Um, do I have to zoom in? I'll just check. There. Right. Now I'm going to put it on the fabric. There. And it is awkward. Very awkward. So, you pull it taut like that, going around. I'll just shut up so you can um, watch what I'm doing. See, the most difficult part I find to this is actually starting it and anchoring it down because I'm quite surprised it hasn't um, flew off like it usually does when I start it. But, and if you think this looks a bit messy, this bit of the leg, 
um, on this particular art doll um, I was thinking about putting some feathers like you know like sticking down here and it'll cover all that up but um, I don't know yes I'll see what I'm doing And I mean, it does, this leg, it looks okay like that. I quite like the skinny look, but if you don't, as I say, you can double the wire for the leg, or you can just go over a few times with um, this. Uh, yeah, and as I say, I'm sure it must react to the heat from your fingers. And of course, pulling it for me to make it stick. And just look, see if I'm going right. Hmm. I normally, when I'm doing this, um, when I'm not filming it, I dangle it close to my body and not at a distance because doing this with my arms outstretched, it aches them. Right then, so I suppose this will be a boring video if I continue to the toes, but I'll just show you, I keep on uh, wrapping it right the way down here, then I just wrap it and cover the toes. And when you get to the end of the toes, I'll bend, I don't know if you can see here, where it's been sticking out a bit the tape, I just fold the tape over underneath itself and bind it. And that seals it so the um, wire doesn't poke through at the end. It's quite a nice finish actually. Uh, see this bit here? This isn't uh, down properly, so what I do is just rub my fingers like this. The and it sticks down. So that is how I do it. I'm sure um, other people's got their own way, but this is uh, what works for me, and it's easier. Um, and after I bind the legs and feet, and I'm quite pleased with it, then I'll start to mess around with the position of them. Um, of course, I think the um, bed looks a bit um, wonky at the minute. So, yeah, mess around with that. And then, of course, when I add the wings and every the tail and everything else on it, it's just like a little bit of extra weight. And then I'll probably have to manipulate the legs again to get it in the best position. So, that's that. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you, bye.